Overnight on the ongoing fallout between uh, between what has happened in Saudi Arabia. There was there were attacks, of course, on Saudi Arabia's oil industry. Uh, the United States saying that Iran is to blame. That's right. A new report released just hours ago shows Iran maintaining it was not behind the massive attack. Adam Harding joining us now with the late breaking details. Adam, what's going on? Well, we just got an update within the last hour that Iran is warning that any kind of military action will be met with an immediate answer. A new report out this morning is now claiming Iran's president overnight said Saudi Arabia should see these attacks as a warning to end its war with Yemen rebels. Iran still denying this morning any involvement in last weekend's attacks, but in just a few hours from now, Saudi officials are expected to unveil new evidence that shows Iran's involvement, according to sources. All of this breaking right at this hour as the Secretary of State has boarded a plane and is making his way to Saudi Arabia. It has raised the question of what should the U.S. do? Democrats say any type of strike would need congressional approval. Last weekend's attack was the largest ever on an oil facility. It knocked out about 5% of the world's production. Joint Chief Chairman General Joseph Dunford saying the president has not asked for any military options and stressed that there are still alternative diplomatic responses on the table. Former President Jimmy Carter is one of the voices now weighing in on what the U.S. should do next. I would say to resolve the issue diplomatically, and I believe that's what the president is inclined to do. And... Uh, and as far as uh, being friendly with Iran, I, th I think we ought to try to find some way to talk directly to them with uh, mutual respect, like I did with China 40 years ago. So here's the context you need to have at home. The big fear for us in the U.S. is gas prices. Saudi Arabia says half of its oil production has already been restored. They hope to have everything up and running at full strength by the end of the month. Now analysts this morning are predicting that while we'll still see some price increases at the gas pumps, it will likely not be as high as we previously thought. Gravier? Adam, thank you.